What's up, good people? What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Leroy McKenzie Jr. I'm inviting a couple of people really, really quickly, y'all. I'm going to be on here real quick. Come and holla at y'all. Y'all know this week um, we're going to be focusing on the three Ds. I call them the three Ds of branding uh, your business. So you really want to tune in. Um, really quickly, because I'm going to give one of them today, because I'm doing those th the three throughout the week. So I'm going to do one today, I'm going to do one um, probably uh, Wednesday, and then I'll do another one on uh, Friday or so. But um, let me give you the three Ds first. The three Ds, catch the <laughs> the hint, y'all, three, D, three Ds. Um, but the three Ds of, of branding your business are discipline, develop, uh, and deliver. That's discipline, develop, and deliver. Are you disciplined? What are you developing? And then how are you going to deliver? Those are three things that we're going to cover this week. So, um... I wanted to come on this more, uh, come on this afternoon, and we'll talk this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to talk really quickly about uh, discipline. What are the what are the things that you need to develop dis the discipline uh, in you in order to be able to um, have a successful um, brand, build a successful brand, build a successful business. So let's start off um, with building your. Uh, with with building um, with the having discipline, how do you build discipline? What do you what is discipline? Discipline is actually having a having structure and uh, having a routine that you go about uh, doing on a consistent basis. Um, so the three things I want to touch on today is with discipline, um, you want to be consistent, you want to be focused, and then you actually want to be uh, committed. That's you want to be consistent. You want to be focused, and you want to uh, you want to be consistent, focused, and then you want to be committed. So how how does that happen? How do you how do you begin to be disciplined? Well, let's start with the focus. Where's your focus? Are you focused uh, every single day on what it is that you want to accomplish? So first, you have to be focused. You have to be understand um, what it is that you're trying to uh, accomplish. What are those goals? Uh, what are those assignments that I call that you want to that you want to be able to um, have that you look at that keep you on track to be where it is that you want to be? So that's the first one: is remain focused committed are you committed to it are you committed enough to be disciplined enough i'm gonna say that again are you committed enough to be disciplined enough in order to be able to achieve what it is that you want to achieve with your brand that means you may not feel like getting up some days. That means you still get up because you're committed to it. Um, you you actually um, do things that take you out of your comfort zone. For those that have listened to me, y'all know that my mantra this year is leave the familiar, elevate your influence. Well, that first part of that, leaving the familiar means doing the things that make you feel uncomfortable and being comfortable with being uncomfortable that takes uh that takes focus that takes commitment because a lot of people when they start to feel uncomfortable they start to back off things so it's about being committed to what it is that you want to do every every i promise you every single brand Every single business, every single successful person has encountered a, a point in their business and their brand and uh, who they are in growth uh, where they felt uncomfortable where they moved to that next level where they started doing things that they were not used to doing. So what did they have to do? They had to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So... As you begin to to be committed to what it is that you're doing, you start to feel more comfortable with doing things that make you uncomfortable. So I'm hoping that that drills in. So the first one is focus. How do you you know staying focused and understanding what the end goal is, what your end assignment is, what you want to do. Second one is being committed. What are you committed to? How are you? What are you committed to? And what are you committed to? And then how? 
How bad do you want it is what I say. I see my girl. I see you, Kay Kendall. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Keep getting well, baby. Keep getting well, girl. Keep getting well. Um, so you want to be committed to what it is that you um, that you want to achieve. And then the third thing is consistent. You want to develop consistency in what it is that you're doing. Consistency um, allows you or gives you the ability to be able to start to um, uh, have a a particular lifestyle or a particular um, mindset. Um, because the more that you do things, the more consistent you are. I think it becomes not a habit, hab- or it becomes a habit. But, but then your habits become part of your lifestyle. Where if you um, if you had the commitment and the focus to be able to get up at four o'clock in the morning, it becomes a part of your lifestyle. That part of your lifestyle becomes what you do. Working out. If you if you want to um, be healthy, you want to be healthier. You have to develop a way of eating. So you want your eating to become a healthy eating to become a part of your lifestyle. So what do you do? As you start to eat healthier, it starts to become of your your it starts to become a part of your regular daily routine. So that's what being consistent will do do for you. They say it takes twenty one days to make or break a habit. So you must be, if you do something for 21 days, you have to set it, you set in your mind, you get your mind acclimated to what it is that you're, that you've started to do. That means the weather's starting to break now. So a lot of folks are starting to go out and, and do their walking outside now in the fresh air and everything like that. So you become consistent at walking, you'll find yourself um, meeting those weight goals that you want to meet, that you want to meet. Um, <clears throat> same thing, like I said, with your eating, when you start to eat healthier, you start to, um, have food, uh, on a consistent basis that you can, that you actually can actually use to be able to assist you in, uh, reaching your weight goals. You put those together, you put the focus together, you put the commitment together, and you put the consistency together. Then you begin to uh, develop what I call, that's the discipline of branding. When it comes to your business, that means how do you, um, how do you focus, what do you focus on with your, what are you focused on with your business, what are you um, committed to in your business, and then what are you consistent with in your business. Those three things. Those three things. What are you focused on with your business? What is it that you want to achieve with your business? What are you focused on for this week? Let's just take it a week at a time. What are you focused on this week? What is it that you need to achieve this week that you want to achieve this week? What are you committed to this week in doing in your business, for your business? And then what do you want to be or need to be consistent at in what you do this week? with your business. So when you do that, I promise you, your brand, you, your business and your brand will grow. Take a look at it because as you know, and as I say to you, my goal is to make you, your business, your brand better by the end of 2021 than you were at the beginning of 2021. And the only way that you do that is by beginning with the discipline beginning with the discipline, having the focus, having the commitment, and, and having having the focus, having the commitment, and then having the consistency. Those are things that will, that will um, take you, give you the ability to be able to be disciplined in your brand. So it's your boy, Leroy McKenzie Jr. Hope this helps someone. Um, I'm going to be doing these, like I said, this week. We're going to focus on the three Ds, which is discipline, develop, and deliver. Uh, Today was discipline. Hope this helped you all. As I always say, this is 2021, you all, and we leave the familiar to elevate your influence. And you can't elevate your influence if you're not disciplined. To elevate your influence, you must be disciplined. To elevate your influence, you must be focused. To elevate your influence, you must be committed. To elevate your influence, you must be consistent. So we'll talk to y'all soon.